If you want to attach one of these to one of these or one of these, in this video I'll show you how. If your iPad or iPhone has a lightning port, this isn't going to fit in it. You're going to need an adapter. I always recommend Apple's official USB adapters, as some cheaper third-party lightning dongles have a tendency to mysteriously stop working after iOS updates, or just not work properly at all. It is quite pricey though, and if all you're using it for is attaching a MIDI keyboard, you'll probably be okay with a cheaper model. It's up to you though. Before you start hooking things up, you'll need to dive into your iPhone settings. Head to Face ID and Passcode, and down here toggle on the switch that allows accessories. Next, attach the adapter to your iPad or iPhone. Attach your MIDI keyboard's USB connection to the other end of the adapter. Open your iOS DAW of choice, then start playing and or recording. If your iPad or iPhone has a USB-C port, you'll still need an adapter. Though you don't need to worry about the longevity or usability of third-party adapters as much as you would with a lightning port adapter. If you want something cheap and cheerful, adapters as simple as these USB to USB-C ones will absolutely do the trick. Alternatively, you can push the boat out and get something that will allow you to attach audio interfaces, memory cards, and charge your iPad as well as give you access to a headphone adapter. Attach your chosen adapter to your iPad's USB-C port, then attach your MIDI keyboard's USB connection to the other end of the adapter. Open your iOS DAW or app of choice, and then start playing or recording. Now that's sorted, if you want to hook up an audio interface to your iOS device but aren't quite sure where to start, watch this next. <laughs> 